Hi guys, it's Adam here, eBay part-time reseller. Um, if you're wondering why the quality is so good, it's because I'm doing this video on my new iPhone. Um, so, I, I think I'll probably do most of my videos now on the iPhone. Uh, as well as doing my next video, I'll do a room tour since I've got a portable device now. Rather than my computer, I can actually do a, a room tour, so I'll do that. Um, uh, today I've just got a very small haul. I went to an indoor car boot, uh, got a few things, but it was it was sort of yeah, it wasn't very big. Um, I'm just signing into my computer. Um, it wasn't very big. Um, it was sort of twenty or thirty stalls. It was crammed into this sort of small hall type place, um, and yeah, there wasn't all that stuff, much stuff. But there was a lot of dealers set up. Um, oh actually yeah I've got something else in my pocket. I've got some coins I picked up. Um, so first of all I will go ahead and do these bits and then I'll show you the coins last. So I picked up some Nerf bits. Um, this is part of the gum that's down there. One second I'll just show you the gum. So I've just basically parted out the gun, so I've got the ammo clip, the, the retaliator, this was all put together, um, and then the sort of, I don't know what that is, the barrel is it, um, and then the shoulder rest, or the shoulder pad, I don't know, I think it's a shoulder rest. I've never sold Nerf before, um, I, think, I think I might have sold one gun actually, but a smaller gun. Um, I went on it for £5 as well, I got 12 bullets with it as well, and I think I can get back 20 quid, but I don't I don't know, maybe 25 if I'm lucky. I'm keeping the bullets for testing, I might, there's 12 of them, so I might sell sort of 6 and then keep 6. I'll probably put 6 with the gun. Um, but I think these go for like 7, something like that, 8. Don't know about that, I'd say probably six or seven. That may be fiver, maybe six quid, so that's probably about twenty there. And then the gun with a few bullets, I don't know, ten, so what's that? Close to thirty, but I, I don't know, I'm just guessing, so it might be less than that. Um I got four David Williams but this is an odd cover for the Demon Dentist, but I've never had this version of it. It's like a white book. I've never actually had that version, but it is the Demon Dentist. Um, Gangster Granny, I've already got one of them. And then two paperbacks as well, so this is The Boy in the Dress. And then Mr. Sink, Stink. So I got these for 75 pence each, it's a little bit more than I'd like to pay but as I said there was nothing really there and I, and I wanted to get at least something because I did pick these up first as well. Um, operation standard pickup, sort of 8 to 10 quid. Risk, again I've never had it before. Uh, like the Nerf guns, um, don't know whether it's complete. Uh, I loved playing it when I was a kid. I loved playing a lot of board games when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, I just don't. I don't know on value. I'd, I'd say someone's gonna pay eight to ten quid, something like that. Maybe, maybe even twelve. But I, I don't know. I really couldn't say. Oh, I paid um, two pound on the risk and then one pound on the operation. Um, so now I'll show you these coins, I'll just get the silver ones out. One second. Where are we now? I think this one's silver, is it? Yeah. So that is a florin from 1929. This um, sort of older gentleman had it was sort of like um, a cutlery um, divider full of all these coins, uh, some silver, some not. 
he didn't really know what he had. Um, I mean, that something like that would go two, three quid. Not a lot, but um, I got a couple of silver ones. I think, yeah, that one's silver as well. That's 1930. Um, if you don't know, silver coins before 1947 were 50, made of 50% 50 silver. But in 1947, they had to stop producing them because the silver content in the coin was going over sort of the face value of the coin. I think that's around about right anyway. Um, and then pre-1920, um, it was 92.5% silver, which is sterling silver in coins. Um, there was only about six or seven coins or denominations of coins that were uh, silver, which were sixpence, um, threepence, uh, shilling, florin, half crown, and crown. So what's that, about six or seven? Um, so I got all these coins for a quid. So they're the two silver, probably about two or three quid each, so that's six quid there. And then the rest of these. These are just like six pences and, and one shillings from, uh, if you can see, ooh, clumsy I am today. These are just six pences and one shillings from after 1947. Probably get four quid for the lot, something like that. So maybe even less than that. Um, I'm going to probably put those two on for, for 4 99 and hedge my bet, see if I get it. Um, I mean, the silver content, florins are 5.61 grams, if I remember correctly. So, 50% silver at about 16 to 18 pence a gram. Uh, 11, 12 grams all in, in the two of these. So that's what, about sort of £2, £2.50 in scrap value. So the minimum you'd get from them is £2.50. Um, they're not in particularly great condition, as you can see there's a bit of blackening to the corner there. Um, all the luster's gone on them, pretty much all of it anyway, I can't, uh, it, it, the design's fading off, they're not in good condition really. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to put them on 4 95 someone might snap them up. And then it says, as I say, those ones, 3 99 something like that. And I paid a pound for the lot, so probably a few quid in them. And they're really cheap to post, probably 54 pence, second class stamp. So, yeah, that's my little find. Um, if you're wondering why I sort of know about coins, it's because I collected coins for a couple of years now, and I worked in an auction house prior to doing reselling, and we got loads of silver coins in. Loads of banknotes. I also collect banknotes. I've got to this side of me. I will show you in my room tour, but to this side of me, I've got a set of drawers with just loads of coins in. I've probably got about 100 to 200 quid's worth of silver coins. Um, I've got various um, foreign coins um, and various older British coins from the 1700s and 1800s. Um, so yeah, I, I saw them, I knew what we were straight away, nice easy pick, I, I, I enjoyed getting them because I've not seen coins in a, a car boot ever um, since I've started reselling, so that was nice. Um, and thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next video where I will do a little room tour and uh, show you my inefficiency as it is. Um, and you'll be able to see how inefficient my picking process is. But anyway, that's for the next video. I'll see you in that video, and please subscribe. It should be down there. Uh, also, click the like button if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, um, and then comment below with any comments or questions you may have. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.